Well, we can pause there for a moment. I mean, this is wheatgrass is a special fascination of mine, but of course we can attribute it to any of the grasses. That's and you're saying that grass is special in that from the soil it's able to extract how many minerals? All 90 natural. All 90 minerals. That's, that's amazing. It, it is truly amazing. And, you know, it, it's why you see in most foraging animals they're mostly, they're very, very healthy. And, and just grass does a great job, and their grass is genetically disposed to pick up all 90, whereas a tomato might be only 54. You know, a pot sweet potato might be 70, well, it is, it's 76. And every fruit and vegetable has a different number. Uh, but what you're really trying to do is replace the minerals that you shed or, or, or eliminate, and... Grass is very effective, but, you know, when I eat, I, I'm always looking for things to pick up a lot. And, uh, exactly. So that's, that's sort of how I forage for food. It, that's fantastic. I mean, um, a lot of people don't know, and I want to, we've almost gotten a little bit ahead of ourselves. For those who are listening, um, some may or may not be aware of some of the implications of mineral deficiencies, may just know, okay, well, I have to get my fruits and vegetables, I have to have minerals. I just wanted to read um, one paragraph real quickly from Dr. Murray's book because it leads us into this talking about minerals. And I love the way he writes, so just kind of straight to the point. He says, there is no excuse for 97% of Americans having some kind of chronic dental disease. And he says, that's a terrible statistic. And he, <laughs> although he speaks to it, it's damn near everybody. Visual impairments requiring corrective lenses belong to nearly half the population especially when one considers the great number of people who need glasses but have not yet become a st statistic. Every year, more than a million people die of heart and vascular disease, and one out of every 16 Americans aches with arthritis and rheumatism. Now, this book was written in 1976. And, and John, I think that what is being suggested here, he's not just writing about health, he's suggesting that dental disease, eye problems, heart disease, joint problems, all are as a result of the mineral deficiencies in our soil. Absolutely. I have not so, one bit of doubt that that's correct. You're saying you don't doubt, you don't have any doubt that that's correct? None whatsoever. And, and from what I know, know in my training, of course, there's um, high blood pressure associated with magnesium deficiency, osteoporosis associated with a magnesium deficiency, not the calcium deficiency as we have thought, attention deficit disorder with a zinc deficiency, um, and it goes on and on and on. We're really facing, this is a kind of a life or death thing that we're really facing with all the mineral deficiencies that we have to come to a reality to that are, that are existing in our soil right now. 